Hey everybody, my name is Dan Demogorgas, and welcome to Numa Breath of Life. And today I have a very special guest, my dad, Dr. John Demartini. I'm here, I'm back. The, 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 the earlier times we had the opportunity to do a journey, which was about fire and air going into the sky and going on a journey. The last time we did the, our gig together, we did uh, Abzu. Yeah, yeah. We went into the water and the earth. Now we're gonna get the fifth element. We're gonna do the breath of life. So we're gonna have a, a pneumatic experience of the inspiration that we all are on the journey for. I even, I even defined it at the beginning like philosophy, breath of life, spirit. So let's do this. Numa Numa! Alright, first time playing this. I've seen the trailer. I kind of know what's going on. Let me make sure. Let me make sure there's uh, subtitles. I assume that means it's on. New game. Let's go! In the beginning? Me! I, I, I'm awake! I'm alive! I can feel it! Life flowing through me, breath, thought. A few seconds ago, there was nothing, but now here I am. Well, there's only one logical conclusion. I am God, and, and this is my universe. <laughs> Pretty cool. All the conclusion. It's too dark and silent, formless and void, not fitting for God of my stature. Let there be light. Oh, and there was. Oh. <laughs> Wow! Oh, I must be God! I can move! I can I can talk! I can walk! I hover to and fro above the infinite surface! A plane as it is. Okay. So we begin from the darkness to the light. Oh my goodness. This, this is amazing! My universe! A bit bland, but a bland universe is better than no universe. Still, uh, I feel the uh, need for progress. That's cool. I need a direction. I need a destination. An end to my beginning. An omega to my alpha. For how can there be progress without a destination? Fair enough. Aha! A path! A narrow path that leads to a destination. Progress! Progress! We did it! <laughs> Before me, I see a large wall. I press on and walk through the wall like a ghost. Okay. No, walls are solid. Can't do <laughs> no. that. Note to self, cannot walk through walls. Okay. Well. A button! Push the button. Escape the box. Button. Oh. Okay. I can press control the world square. with a wave of my figurative hand. Oh, dear God. I have no need for hands, apparently. I think I need some trimming. It's so bright. Something to spruce the place up a bit. Make my universe heavenly. Something to reflect my wealth and godlike status. Grand. It needs uh, color. Gold. <laughs> Lots of gold to reflect my oh, immense wow. wealth and abundance hmm. of goldness. Yes. Goldness. Also to reflect my love of <laughs> reflective metals. Whoa. Okay, that's it. A temple. That's the right kind of place for a god to live. If I bend uh, my figurative you knees, can jump with X. Jump, <laughs> the world moves downwards, away from me, the center of my own little universe. I translate the world as if it were mine, well, you know, which it is. As I move forward, the world approaches me. Oh, wow. I am literally the center of the universe. As I turn, the world rotates around me. I am pivotal. I bring a new meaning to self-centered, you know, what with being the center of all things. So, uh, first thoughts? <laughs> well, so far we're on, we're, uh, we're learning about the origin of the universe according to Numa. <laughs> Numa Numa. Yeah, an that An anthropomorphic deity. Like that, uh... Wow. That's very creative. Lovely, uh, spot to probably hang out with. Oh, yeah. If you can have your own temple, might as well have a good one. Yep. I just wanted to explore. Let's see those buttons, I guess. He'll be talking a lot, I know, <laughs> for sure. Uh, 
As an artist, I need to define my influences. Who are my influences? Uh, myself. I inspire myself. I am inspirational. I aspire to be myself. Oh, you just... Easy, easy so far. <coughs> Can't really run. Matched. Perfectly. Now I can relax. Thinking time is over. Uh, Alright. In the beginning! <coughs> there was nothing. This one man. <laughs> we, got, we got a trophy. <laughs> Yay! We did it. Progress. A friendly old, friendly young chap from yeah. the guard. Oh yeah. Lead me, path. Lead me to my destination. God doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> Onwards. A passing gate is a sign of progress along my path. I'll see you I must admit that I rather enjoy the progress. However, it seems I am met with a new challenge at every turn. These challenges require knowledge. Slightly worrying. As a god, I consider myself all-knowing. Why is it I must stop and think? Knowledge is obscured from me. All these uh -huh. eyes watching makes me a bit uneasy. Not a fan of onlookers, to be honest. Oh. That which I can see exists. Ah. Ah, oh, I can run bench. through. <laughs> Brilliant. Something to rest my figurative head upon from all that adventurous walking. But I must be honest with myself. As a god, I feel no real need to rest. Don't know why I made a bench. Doesn't really make <laughs> sense. Maybe I should rest as an example to others. Uh, oh, no, there are no others. Don't understand why I fill the place with pots, either. I don't have anything to store. Maybe I should make lemonade. I need to invent lemons first, a few other things too. Time to start a list of inventions. Lemons, a lemon press, sugar, the abstract concept of sweetness, a tongue. I definitely need a tongue, but I need a body first. Legs, I want legs. Uh, then I can have footsteps to accompany my walking. I find myself awfully ethereal currently. Please calm oh, down. God. A door that opens only the, when the goddess must have been shopping at this moment. My centrality to this narrative. She probably wouldn't wonder, want to hear what what all this conversation. <laughs> is there anything? Is it simulated? Is it culled because my mind does not have the power to imagine the whole world in one instant? Oh, for the sake of sanity, I choose to believe the world around the corner exists. I like the door that only opens when it's being watched. Someone's looking at it. Interesting. Hello. Let me through. No. Uh, uh, you know. Let me through. Do you have to grab the door? Yeah, well, let me. There's no hand to grab it with. I guess not. <laughs> they haven't made hands yeah, yet. They haven't made hands yet. They made... He's got to put that on the list. <laughs> I mean, it's ancient Greek stuff already. Come on. Let's get closer. What the hell? The the omnipresent eye of the spirit, the breath, yeah. is using technology, secure high security technology today. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I gotta <clears throat> I just thought like maybe interacting one of these and then he'd start talking. Alright, alright. Look right. up. Spirit, got, breath, fire goes up. Got, got to look it up. Ah, uh, uh, there you. There it is. Hiding, hiding in plain sight. I'm afraid not even you could escape my powers of observation. Uh, oh, now, you, don't. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me in. All right. It, it got me on that one. Okay, we got there. Wow. So many books. Years of reading. But why would God read books that he's written? Then again, books written by God would be the best books. Why Why would I read books that I haven't written? I should write my own book, a book set apart from the rest. I wouldn't know what to call it. Autobiography, maybe. A Brief History of Life. Numa presents himself in Numa. Critics have called it the best book ever written. Numa, Numa. Winner of every writing prize for writing. The hallway called it the best book since records began. A small bench said it was a record-breaking record of historical records. Oh, I don't know what kind of book I would write if I didn't write an autobiography, though. Maybe uh, a piece of fiction. I could tell stories of magical doors that only open when watched. 
Maybe stories about a little wooden boy come to life. Pinocchio. 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 He sounded like Pinocchio at the beginning. I can walk. I can talk. I mean, if I got something, I'm a real boy. Change the rules of the universe to match the book. I could keep changing the laws of the universe and write new revisions. I could write every book on the face of the universe. There's still every book to write and forever to write it in. Another eye puzzle, I guess. How do I open it? Maybe look down too now. <laughs> From a certain angle. Now you know to look at every angle. Yeah. Omni omnipresent eye. Yep. Omniscient. Oh! Interact. Oh boy. Oh, these are interactable. Okay. I mean, this is about this is about as many books as you've read, right, Dad? This you didn't like, know. This looks like a good good batch here. This, you know, my dad. Uh, he's, he's read a few books, written a few. Ah, there you are, little devil. Yeah, we but got what it. What do we do with this? Ah, so I need to like block the eye. Or Oh. Put them all closed yep. and it's something on the wall? Yep. Well, <clears throat> and then I just look back at the eye and I'll be close enough to the door, I guess. Because that seems to be like a thing. So I just be really close to the door because it closes immediately. But. Yes, sir. I notice how things further away seem smaller. An increase in distance causes a decrease in size. This is called perspective. Mm. The irony oh, is the implication. I must be the biggest thing in the world. <laughs> ah, come on. One of those has to go up to be able to see through them all. They're not at the same angle. Yeah, I just didn't, I don't see a I switch. Think oh, aha! Yeah, I was like, one of them has to go up. Yeah, there. I was like, yeah, but once they're blocking. You're right, a thousand percent, okay. Oh, now. Now they line up. Uh, or is there another one? I think I could, maybe I'll push it the other way. Somehow the middle one. Move it midway? Isn't that what it was though? Hmm. It must have been the first thing we did, right? It looked like or that, that way. Put or right in the middle. It was still, still slightly forward. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. Oh! No! No! You let me through. You let me through. Hold on, maybe I gotta give it some time. I see it. There we go. Oh, no! What? <laughs> Yay! So you got to the next level? Yep, the narrow path. Tricky. Little, little... I'm, I'm not used to playing games where <clears throat> perspective is no, a solution to like every at least it's each the beginning. one's a lesson. Gotta look everywhere. In mathematics, there's a principle called projective geometry, where you take a two-dimensional object like a painting and put it with different colors to make it three-dimensional or three-dimensional to make it four-dimensional, as if it's moving. Come from? We have to learn perspective and projective geometry here. in this. I guess as God, I made it. Hmm. I can't remember ever making any of this, though. Marble requires great heat, pressure, and time to form. So how did I make it? Did I just pop it into existence? I guess I could do that. Or did I have it in another universe cooking for a couple of million years? Uh, both are reasonable. Maybe both. Changing it up. I need to work on my memory. 
Look at this! The world bends to my will. More evidence of my deity, the immense power of my mind. Oh. Bow before my ample brow, for I can move things with just a glance. Oh, Fear okay. my gaze, ah. lest I move you around. And then don't look at it. Okay. This is pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. Well, you know a thing or two about Aristotle, Plato, this is, this is, the, uh, the ancient Greeks that knew about Whoever spirit. did the, the architectural design on this put some effort into it. The Alpha and Omega. What a polite door! <laughs> Opening itself upon my approach. The right way to treat your god door. I shall give you great treasures for your compliance. This door? What a uh, conniving door. <laughs> you little... You can see it's proud. Look, as it attempts to thwart me. Why can't you be more like that other the door? The Omega. That other door had respect. Ah, but I don't have to look at it. Alpha and Omega. I have bested you, door. Alpha and Omega? Yeah, one's a Alpha, one's a Omega. So one, Omega's one, the one's end. One's gonna open for you, the other one's gonna the be like, alpha's, nah, nah. Uh, alpha's the beginning. Okay. We may be going backwards through Omega back to Alpha. Are you not moved? Uh -oh. Rotate about me, Bridge. Bow to my rotational power. I wonder if this is normal. Moving things with your mind. It must be. I am normal. That cannot be contested. Normal is the norm, and as the only thing, I must be normal. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Um, <clears throat> that's... Oh. Hello. Just a mood for a sec. Why'd you move? It's rotating. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna. Oh. No. Don't. Okay. Don't look at the eye. I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> no. Damn it. It's like I have to go backwards on it. I am mighty. Ha. I'd rather enjoy moving heavy marble with my mind. <clears throat> Got him. To move this Got like him. Hands, to be honest. Ah. What, what are hands? Yeah, we ain't got none. <laughs> yeah, we're void and with, without form. <laughs> oh, well I said. can move bridges with my mind. I wonder if I could move them to laughter or tears. They seem to be quite emotionally dead. But with enough anthropomorphism, I'm sure they would lighten up. Thank you, bridges, for bringing things together. I wonder if these bridges deserve my thanks. If they're my creation, is to thank them to thank myself. Hmm. Well, thank me for my excellence. Well. Do you think he's got a little god complex going on? A little bit of ego? I mean, if he's god, then maybe, maybe he's, you know, he's good, but... It's standing straight up now. Oh. The bell tolls. Creepy. I thought she kind of creepy. Very ambient, atmospheric music. Well, I say next chapter. You want to try? Keep going. Well, yeah. Like after we get a little loading screen. Okay. This world seems counterintuitive. Not entirely sure what's going on. I seem to be playing a series of practical jokes on myself. Who constructs a world like this? A world that attempts to confound me at every turn. Why did I make such a world? <laughs> it makes me feel smart, I guess. Uh, oh. How gratuitously self-indulgent. Uh, is it going down? Come on, so close. Why'd you stop? Uh, 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 uh -huh. Aha! Don't look at it. Don't look at it. It's 
speaking of Greek, this is like the Medusa. We're looking at back at the Alpha now. No. Did it? You bastard! You can laugh all you want. You gotta raise it again. Do you think we should go through the Alpha to come to the Omega? We're stuck here. Hold on, I think I just have to look forward and then, like, don't look at it. So it can't. Uh, yeah! Okay. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Get me out of there! <laughs> I don't know what to think. I, up is down, left is right, alpha is omega. Imagine jump. building this this the world turns about my pivot. This whole building. Is it that yeah. <laughs> the world turns around me or that I turn around the world? If it's just matrix multiplication, then the question is redundant, I'm sure. Cos theta minus sine theta sine theta cos theta. <laughs> my conscious perspective makes it an incontrovertible fact that I am the center of the universe. What did he just say? <laughs> ah fuck. Gonna do it again. What was Cita Vavita? <laughs> Living live Vida Loca? What did he say? What does that mean? He was talking about trigonometric functions. Oh. So I gotta do it again. I'm a dumbass. Ah. The jumping's a bit not good, but no excuse. Oh, fuck. Holy. Hold on. Bring that one closer. Can I? Come here, you. Hiya! Hiya! Alright, now you go this way. Stay. Stay. Don't you. Now jump backwards. Whew! He on S Games mode! Oh my god, he on X Games mode! As a god, I can turn any situation to my advantage. The rules of the universe are mine to write. Though they are rather conventional at the moment. Okay. That's Omega. What up? Oh, oh! I just turned the eye. Whoa. Oh, so I'm changing the location of the door. What? How do I know? I gotta just keep. Something. <laughs> you figure it out without even figuring it out. Up, uh, it's up. Uh, <laughs> Coming back, brother. Oh, it's be it's behind that door. No, no. <laughs> How? Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. That has to be something different. And it is. Tricky. Clever. No, well, I'll take it. Okay. Huh? I think I got through it. Center of the I, universe. I would, have, I would have had a challenge getting that one. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's only gonna get tougher. So that's up to you. You want to try let one me, of the let chapters? Me try, yeah. If you have any trouble, obviously I can. Yeah, help I may. Out, I may. Uh, okay, so which one is which? So uh, that's just how you move. Okay. Or, uh, that's how you look around. That's how you jump, and then that's how you interact. Okay. And it, that's basically all. Every room of this world seems to be carefully so now, crafted for. My dad's playing now. A hidden hand woven through the fabric of the universe. See if you can solve the puzzles. A everywhere, a different hidden hand guiding my footsteps. What does that say? The laws unfold. Sanctorum, or is it Sanctorum? Trump. Why a mystery? <laughs> <laughs> Did Donald get in this game? <laughs> I am the chosen hey. one. Get to get some somewhere. Sanctorum. Okay, you got seven of those. So yeah. it's, oh, it's, I want to stay on the other side, or just whoa! Oh. Tricky. Cause it, it, look, when you turn around, they all started going crazy too. 
Oh. Oh. I'm guessing you have to light them all up. Top and bottom. Of their own, don't they? These eyeballs are assholes. Oh, I oh. see. Okay, maybe they just need to be all lit up from the top. Oh, oh, you, you did it. Look to the left. Like, uh, you can look with that, like, this way. Like, uh, could you see it's open? You did it. Okay, should I go here? Yeah, yeah. Sectoro. Yeah, there you go. Gods are creators. I must have created this world. If not, why would the world have the appearance of craft? Perhaps as I speak, a subconscious part of me is busy making the next room. It is my world, after all. I must be working hard right now to build the next room, or perhaps my mind creates this appearance of order out of the noise. I think that's the truth, isn't it? Yeah. We, Our we mind don't. creates the order out of the noise. The peace and the within, chaos. Within the apparent chaos is the hidden order. We got a true speaker over here. Oh. All I know is these eyeballs. Oh. <laughs> the sun is just a big eyeball. <laughs> they all is that the mo moon or sun? I think it looks like the moon. Yeah, it looks like the moon, but... I mean, everything's watching us. There you go. But I think you just have to light all those up. Oh, yeah, I think just look at that one over there. On the left. Where's all the things to light up? And then the one behind you? Our fifth one? Oh wait, but oh, there's numbers on them. Look, Dad, look. Five. So there must be a, a fifth oh, one. Oh, okay. Maybe they're a numerical. Four, so yeah. Four. So we need to find one, two, and so on. Which one, what do we got over here? Two. Okay, where's one? We don't know what the one was upstairs. That was three or one, but we're missing a fifth. Is it, is it around the corner? It's around uh -huh. the corner. Well, gotta look at every perspective. That's three. That's three. Okay, so now so, we got that figured out. So now so, we gotta go back to one. Yeah, one's at the top of the stairs. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> he's, 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 he's speed running. He's, he's speed running. He's, he's, uh, he's glitching the map. <laughs> For some reason, I can't get off the floor. Oh, you, uh, use the camera angle to look. Uh, you can look back up. You're looking at the flowers. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah, just go back up to one, and then you know, Roman numerals. Isn't it? Four mean? Uh, I think that's five. Because remember, I, you can't look at them. Like you have to hit one without looking at four or five, go down the stairs, hit two, So hit I got to start over? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's... Uh, Whoever, whoever's watching knows that this is um, the training wheels version of <laughs> Numa. Nah, he's, he's just deceiving you. He's, he's a gamer. Ah. Level 1000, Call of Duty. Okay, I've got one, MLG. right? Yeah, one. Yeah, it was already activated. You have to start over. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. At least I know what the, the sequence is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, oh, wait. Look, you just, okay, look at it. You, like, so you don't even have to look up. You Now go down the stairs. But don't look. Yeah, that one. And then go to hit three. Yeah, yeah. And then make sure you don't see the There you go. And then just see the fifth one. That has to be it.
There we go. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You open the door. You're free. From this room, at least. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be getting easier. Yeah, I know the controls are a little weird. Oh. Oh no, clocks. This world is clearly the product of a mind. <laughs> Time. It's full of inorganic patterns and purposeful architecture. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, good job. That was, an agent that's tricky. Making purposeful change in an environment. If that were the case, then it would make a compelling argument for a world without craft. Still a world optimized for some function, mind you. Now what do I do? Go left. Uh, it's a new, I'm... Just as lost as you are. Oh, there's a lot of clocks. I assume either you want them all at the same time, or... Uh, I'm not getting it yet. <laughs> They're all going at the same time. If something was transient, oh. if something abided in this universe for a moment, or if something was removed, where does it go? A thing that is removed from the universe does not exist. Oh. A thing that does not exist. How can I know of a thing that does not exist? A memory of a thing that once existed. I need a principle to avoid this contradiction. This cognitive dissonance in my mind. How can I know of a thing that does not exist? What is this pervasive delusion? Things must exist forever. How are these things created? Before creation, they did not exist. Tense. Time. Time! The world has time. The world is not always the same. Aha! But I am constrained to Can this I step time. into this Why same river twice? To time. A god should not be constrained. That's Empedocles and Parmenides, Parmenides, guys. Yes, yes, sir. Ancient Greek philosophers. Okay, so there's a middle clock. What was that about? All I know is these clocks are going clockwise, but I don't, I don't think we're clockwise. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get, I don't understand. Oh no, I just bet. <laughs> don't go back there. Don't go there. Don't, don't, go, don't go back. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Now I'll go that way. Yes. This is all, you know, it's all 12 o'clock. Does it have to do with the sun? Is the sun bullshitting us? Do we need like a sundial or, or the moon or whatever you are? You're very suspicious. This, oh wait, what? Yeah, because 12 noon is when the sun's straight above. On. Keep looking a little bit further left. Okay, now they all are at 12 o'clock. Now you need to run into the pool and then look at that clock as quick as possible. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry. Now look at the clock. Look at... Oh. I don't know if... Did that open the door? I don't think it did. But that's essentially how you open it. Okay. So, I think I know what to do now. Yes, you can. Run in there. Hurry, hurry. You don't have to look up. What are you doing? <laughs> you were <Not> passionate. <laughs> I love how you were just like, it was a VR game. Like. Been, I think I had some, something happen there. Oh. Professional. Well, that is. The... Bam. <laughs> Just as I said, you said professional. Bam, right into the wall. The graphics are nice. I mean, it's like a $15 game. Can't hate on that. Got nice colors. <laughs> it's Absu all over again. Like, what are you looking at, my boy? What is he doing? Yeah, there you go. Anybody watching this with us, just know that. If you're thinking that I'm not very fast and bright with this, you're right. Hey, well, it's but a I'm challenging learning. puzzle. But okay. Uh, well. <laughs> hold on. It's, hold not on. A it's not a racing game. Get a cow, Dad. I'm not, I'm not used to committing <laughs> jumping off buildings. It's just a ledge. Okay. Ready. That, that should be fine. And then you just look up at that one, and it's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. They expect you to be quick with this, though. Okay. You want to try to do it faster? See if you can do it faster. Uh, I'm surprised it's not, because there's no run. It's not like you can really move faster. 
Are you supposed to jump in the water? Are you supposed to come running all the way down the stairs to that's, do it? That's the shortcut. That's, I mean, if you take the stairs, you're going to take forever. Are you at 12? You better be at 12. All right, you're at 12. You're at 12. 12. You're at 12, 12. 12. You're all at 12. All of you. Yeah, that's perfect. Right. Now, go. Am I supposed to not look at them? Maybe that's the issue. Oh. It was, oh, it's just like... It first takes, time you did it. it. Well, you know... You first time you did it. Eh, you know... I'm a gamer god. <laughs> it has something to do with age, everybody. The younger you are, the quicker you are. That's what it is. Well, I play... Here's a question I'll for play me. games. If I was to study the corner of a board game, could hey, I infer the rules of the game? Perhaps you if want to I continue? use my godlike powers of intuition. How can you understand a world from a vertical slice? Sometimes empirical knowledge is required, surely. Not everything can be inductive or deductive. Okay. Good luck! <laughs> I don't know what it is either. Uh, here's a puzzle. How are you supposed to get through the maze if there's walls? Perspective, I would assume. That seems to be every bullshit answer they have. have to jump it? Is there like a fucking switch or a hammer or something? <laughs> a hammer? <Break> it. <laughs> so I could just bash my brain. Break that in. thing down. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Damn them! Oh, look up! Ah! Look up! They say. So you have to move the. You have to move it now through the maze. Fuck this. Then, no, no, what are you doing? What? Are you, what? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Yes, keep. Don't you, don't. Stop, it keeps fighting me. Try around that other section, see if it hits something and makes it happen. So that's what I thought this would do. Oh. Oh, you moved it. Oh. Okay. Okay. You gotta move it. You gotta move into that other segment. Where, where's that now? Oh, now it's back here. Okay. So I need it to be. Where's, where's that? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> what is this? Okay. So maybe I can move this elsewhere. Ah. Ah. Now go over across. I, I, I don't know. Now I bet you got I, it. I don't know if that's it. I bet you got it. Uh, See? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You right about it? Oh, uh, boy, we got it. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah. Yes, sir. If the world is made for me, for uh, what purpose? Boy. Is it a test? Is it to be enjoyed? Is it to bring a claim to its creator? As a god, I feel like I should have a stronger grasp of this. Oh, oh there's more buttons? Oh, colors and buttons. Black and white. I guess you want them to match? The pattern is there, you gotta match it on this side? Yeah, so, but it's, okay, so you just so, gotta hit those two. So hit those two, don't break eye, eye contact, and then try to just, I should just hit those three. Okay. This is tricky. Okay, there's, there's our way out. Is that water? What yeah. What is a challenge? Does the creator wish to teach, or perhaps just entertain? Oh boy. Some space to think, or maybe just to do something productive? They got some symbols and signs. Oh, match the colors. But that's probably... Oh, shit. You good at matching colors? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, this ought to be fun. What? The... That one... Okay, so we want that one. Blue, blue, green, green. How's that not work? Oh, because it wasn't under the right. So it has even more. Easy. Puh. 
child play. Yeah. Get it out. I Color. Could've, I could have done that one. Yeah. After about a month. <laughs> now you're good with puzzles. Wait, but did that uh, did, let me out? Oh, because it's not over. What are these? Oh. Oh my goodness. What is this? <laughs> oh, oh. What am I building? I'm filling them up. There's more now. Why is that over there now? I don't understand this one at all. Oh God! What is going on? What, what am I to glean from this? That one's got to be crazy. I'm trying to figure that one out. Oh. oh. Okay. Am I supposed to find the brick and then look at it, and then move it closer? That makes no sense. What is going on? That's not even giving me. Oh. Oh, I saw. Wait. No, we've we came from there, no? I guess I solved it. So okay. I don't even know how that would solve. Get me out of the oh, crafted world. Yeah, a Yoshi's crafted world. Well, you. You're like first class on that one. I dabble in a few crafts, arts and cr arts and whiffs, arts and witchcrafts. <laughs> All right. A state change on observation. Things in this world can change. Apparently between only two states, though, on and off. Hopefully not indicative of my state of mind. Binary between two extremes, two poles, if you will. I'm leave it off here. Thank you all so very much for watching. <laughs> Let me know if you've ever played Numa Breath of Life or if you want us to keep playing it. I mean, it's not too long of a game. It's, it's, we've had some challenges, but uh, I think it's pretty it, cool. Philosophically so, inclined. Sometimes it's going to make you hold your breath. <laughs> yeah? The Breath of Life is going to make you hold your breath thinking, oh, what's the answer to this one? But it's the solving of problems that makes us uh, more expanded and more aware. So True. But uh, when I look at... Uh, the speed in which I did it, it, I need some work to do. I think I gotta hey, practice I've, a bit. Perseverance. Me too. <laughs> it's mind puzzles and perspective. <laughs> it's crazy. But uh, the playful philosopher quote of the day is, if you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change the way you think about it. Mary Engelbrecht, Engelbrecht. Um, and oh, Engelbrecht. Engel, <laughs> Engelbrecht. <laughs> Engelbrett. Engelbrett. Uh, but yeah, obviously thought that was appropriate because this game was all about perspective. If things weren't going your way, you just change your perspective and voila. Everything, you, you can describe it better. Everything is what's actually there is the truth or it's just our perspective, our opinion of the truth. When we see it from as it is, the way it really is, we usually get make progress forward. But when we just get stuck in our opinion and we bang our head against the walls. Yeah. Well said. Now the doors are going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave a link to the playlist we did on Journey. You know, traveling through the earth into the, you know, the sky, the air. Um, and also a link to the video we did on Abzu. You know, diving. Abzu. Abzu. Water and earth. Water and earth. Now we're, now we're handling. <laughs> The ethers. <laughs> and also a random video. And also if you want to check out my dad, the Demartini Institute, that'll be in the description and the end screen. Definitely check it out if you want to learn some <laughs> words of the wise. I'm, uh, I have spent many of years of my life attempting to study some philosophy. And, uh, but it looks like I'm a neophyte just learning how to do it with the game. So sometimes even though you may think you know something, when you're actually put through the test, you still have to learn. So never give up on the, the challenges in your life. 
to you and master it. That's the journey of the game. That's the, the actual aspect of the, the Numa, I think. Like, like I've said before, you never stop being a student. You learn something every day. You just gotta apply that lesson. <laughs> we learned a lot about perspective. Anyway, thank you for your patience as we were learning to go from our perspective and our opinions to find what was actually the answer. Uh, well said. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, son. Well, uh... Until our next adventure... Yeah. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Just breathe. Remember to breathe. <laughs> you started with your first breath. Don't let the last one come. Just keep breathing. Just keep breathing. Just keep breathing. That's the pneuma. <laughs> Well, uh, I, th I think that I think the God that came on this uh, show was had a sense of humor at least, but and it was male. I think it I think it needs a little bit of the female touch. Probably would have been a little less complex, more uh, more um, intuitive. Then we'd have probably used our intuition a little bit more. We need the female with the male, I think, to make it all work. Everything strives for an androgynous outcome. Big brain. I think. Yep. Can't have, one, can't have one without the other. Thank the you polarities. For, thank you for joining us on, <laughs> on our breath of life, Numa. Until okay. next until next time. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, but yeah. If you like the video, consider subscribing, sharing with a friend, hitting that notification bell. You know, say what's up. And I will see you all. Maybe maybe my dad again, you know? <laughs> you never know. In the next video. Later. John and Dan Demogorgas, check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah.